welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special Christmas video for you here with my gorgeous boyfriend, Steven. Uh, we're gonna go through some of the best sellers in men's fragrance and Steven's gonna try some of them or all sure. of them actually. And, and the idea is that hopefully this will give you some guidance, some help for choosing a men's fragrance gifts for Christmas, for partners, boyfriends, sons, granddads, whatever. So we've got some niche ones here. We've got like bestsellers, all the main brands. Um, so ones for more younger audience, more discerning audience. So we're gonna try them all out. Um, so you excited for it, Steph? I'm very excited. Good. I, I didn't realise I was some sort of expert in men's fragrances. Not expert, guinea pig. Ah, <laughs> guinea pig, guinea pig, guinea pig. Okay. And after enough. our video we did last Christmas, uh, with the women's fragrances, you blind ranking them. Yeah, did um, I do well? You did very well, very well. I'll leave that link down below if you didn't see that mm. last year. I have a question. Mm. Why has it taken a year for you to involve me in another video? Is it because you're scared I might say something inappropriate mm. or... Mm. I keep asking you to come on and you keep saying no, yes and then she never, never gets around to it. Um, well, you're here now, <clears throat> so... It's been a year. It's, you're here now, uh, Steph, We okay? haven't aged one year at all, have we? Like, look exactly the same as a year ago. So in terms of the perfumes you have, so my personal favourite of the fragrances that Stephen has at the moment is this one, which is Aqua de Gio um, from Giorgio Armani, but it's the Perfumo version. This is my favourite, isn't it? Can I talk? Yes, of So this, I've been using this a lot recently, haven't yeah. I? Yeah. And what do you think of it? The last month I've been, this has been my go-to. Mm. Um, and I don't know if it's subconscious or not, but because it's been getting colder in the UK, I've started wearing that more. Mm. Whereas in the summer, I was wearing the Prada one a bit more. Yeah. And now that's gone quite low. So these are my two favourites yeah. for men's, personally. The um, Prada Luna Rosa and then this Perfumo version of Aqua de Gio. Um, mm. But this one is a bit heavier and definitely, like you say, better mm. for winter. Mm. Mm. It really lingers. I think it's really nice, really manly. Um, I don't personally tend to like the more sportier, like fresher fragrances. I like the mm. more like masculine ones. Um, mm. So these are my two personal favourites. But this one pretty much ran out. Yeah, yeah. It? I used it all over the summer pretty much that was my go-to and then they brought out a new edition <clears throat> i think it might be called carbon prada luna rosa oh no ocean ocean uh, now ocean. this one's much fresher isn't it um it more is like a bit more aquatic it's a daytime for me that's like a mm. daytime because I, I always think am i going into the office or am i going out or do i just need something after the gym those mm -hmm. are like my three states of mind okay. i don't know i don't know if i'm a typical bloke fragrant states of states of yeah mind. those are like i can only handle like three big decisions mm, 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 so it's like mm, work mm. going out or after the At gym home. Yeah. yeah and this is more so. like daytime after the gym i think it'd be fine yeah. for work yeah um i prefer the original luna rosa to this ocean version wow. just because I think it's got a little bit more body to yeah, I it. That. It's a bit more I interesting. Mm. But perhaps if you live in quite a humid climate, hot weather, mm. the ocean version might be summer. better. That's a summer, more um, summery. But it has the same DNA. Yeah, they're as both the quite summery, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think they might all year round. Um, so just to finish off your fragrances, so this one was a real surprise for me. We got this, I think, in an, on an aeroplane. Um, in like the little bag and it's Bulgari Aqua Pour Homme. Love it. And absolutely love this. Um, it's just this little sample that we got, but we used it up really quickly. Yeah. Mm, it's beautiful. You I have a it feeling fun. it might be being discontinued or have been discontinued, um, but I definitely um, want to get you another one that of these. That for me is a work one. If I'm yeah. going into the office, I have that in my bag and yeah. I just add that on for a meeting. Yeah, it's quite professional. Mm. Um, yeah, it's aqua, but spelt with a Q, so A-Q-V-A. I think it's really classy, really it like how it. how aqua is spelt? Well, aqua in English is spelt like A-Q-U-A. Didn't you just say it's A-Q? And I said this is A-Q-V-A. Ah, it's one of those Roman Vs. Yeah, because yeah, Bulgari, they use a V instead of U, don't they? So it's like Bulgari, wow, but it's pronounced Bulgari. Why, what language is it? They're Italian, like you think. Oh, well That's not very Italian. That sounds more like uh, Lady Gaga in House of Gucci. 
Although you're much prettier than that. Oh, what are you cute? The last one you have, which is basically used up, is this mm. Paul Smith Extreme for Men. Can I tell a quick story about this? Yes. So this one, Paul Smith, used to be my favourite, didn't mm. it? Before we met. Mm. Which was a long, long time ago. <laughs> this would be like my go-to post-workout. I'd always have to, this would always be in my gym bag, mm. always. Mm. Um, I was going quite a lot to the gym, believe it or not. Back really in the day. now? Yeah, every day, every day, sometimes twice a day. Oh. Obviously, not really. What yeah. happened? <laughs> um, well, this happened, didn't it? <laughs> um, and so, so this was like my go-to uh, post gym. Always had it on me at any given time. If I needed to freshen up, I'd like mm. put it on. And this was the p fragrance I was wearing when we first met. Oh. Isn't that right? Oh. And you hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. It just isn't one that I choose for a more discerning gentleman. I like it. Paul uh, Smith's one of my go-to brands. I so, think Paul Smith is a great brand. Yeah, and the Paul Smith clothes and everything. Amazing before, shirts. Lovely I find shirts. their fragrances are more of a kind of younger teenage boy type fragrance, That's not true. quite fresh. They're also really quite affordable price points. I'd say if you're buying for a teenage boy or a young, you know, sort of early 20s, you mm -hmm. can get some nice gift sets from Paul Smith. I would say that that's what the Paul Smith fragrances are. I think Paul for. Smith is targeting late 20s, early 30s men. I think their clothes and are, that, and this is but a I think fragrance. their fragrances don't match. Ah, okay, fair point. Yeah, okay, fair, yeah. fair, fair. No, and I they're agree also with that. relatively cheap, yeah, whereas yeah. Paul Smith clothes are relatively expensive. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, yeah. So it's it's a bit mm -hmm. of a funny one, and and like with most brands, the people that make the perfumes is not the people that make the clothes. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just license the brand name, mm. so I, it's quite different. It's same with the women's; they're very <clears throat> affordable as okay. well. So they're all valid points, I think, from mm. a data, yes. data point of. It's like you're an expert. I know. I just like it's every time I do this. I mm. feel like I've learned like. 50,000 exactly. bits of new information. I'm not just entertaining, I'm educational as well. Ah, <laughs> we like to educate, entertain, and enthrall. You like that? That's Ooh, a good, enthrall. Yeah. Three E's. Ooh. It's the three E's of Christendom. <laughs> anyway, sorry, what was I saying? So that was the end of that. No, 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 sorry. One more important thing. One more important thing, which is probably get edited out anyway. Data point of, say, six or seven, right, of my friends. Mm -hmm. We're all of a similar age. We're all 21. Mm hmm plus 10 mm -hmm. and a bit more and we're all sort of got okay jobs and doing all right and you know have a bit of money and da 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 I don't have that much money um, and all sort of wear quite high-end clothes not me yeah. but my friends do well I mean like this you don't get more high-end than this do you <laughs> so Paul Smith clothes I agree are slightly more high-end they're not like high high high-end just but... repeating what I just said yeah, yeah yeah but no but I'm building on what what you just said. Remember, this is the. I'm waiting for the additional. Re remember the three words: educate, entertain, enthrall. This is the enthrall. This is the final e. Okay. I'm waiting. So, all my friends, so so all of them use this fragrance in the same way. What? As in, like it's like an after gym, freshen up. Do you know up. what it is? I think it's your not too age expensive. Group. It's still Paul Smith. Still looks nice. We've all I got think Paul your Smith age group was heavily marketed to with Paul Smith, like when you were young. So what do you mean when uh, we were young? We're still young. Okay. That's the end of the story of Paul Anyway, Smith. enthrall. So, let's move on. Okay, so the number one bestseller for men's fragrance is the Dior Sauvage perfumes. Mm. And these, of course, have Johnny Depp as the face of the fragrance. Dior stood by him during the whole Amber Heard situation. What situation was that? And now, the situation what? that you were glued to while it was on trial. I was TV. not glued to because I was working mm -hmm. during the day. And if this was ever to get out that I had that on in the background whilst working, it may ruin my reputation. Ooh. Anyway, so this is the bestseller. There's quite a few different versions of Sauvage now. Um, so this is the Eau de Toilette, mm. the original that you have. Um, there's also the Elixir and the Parfum. Oh, the Elixir. So, Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. So I'm going to get you to compare That's another them. E. <laughs> so would you like to spray this in one place and then the Elixir and the Parfum somewhere else and compare? But when you say you spray it in one place, mm. what do you mean, like in their flat? On your person. Ah, on my person. Mm. Okay, another question. How many places do I need to spray? Because I've got a lot. Good question. Yeah, because I mean, you I need I, to I... reserve lots of places. How many places on my body? That many. Okay, so this is like it's like heads and shoulders, knees and toes. It's so do like of... one on the head, one on the shoulder, one on the elbow, well, one on the got, knee. Well, if you don't start, and I've got no. five toes, and I've got ten toes actually. Oh boy. Oh gosh. 
Right, okay, this okay. is going to be difficult for me. So this is the eau de toilette of Sauvage. Well, I know what this smells like, I use it every day. Just, okay, you don't want to compare it with them? Oh yeah, okay, so um, how far don't away... Don't spare it on me, do? I don't want to smell like a boy. But how far away do you do it again? Mm -hmm. You do all this like shh, shh, shh stuff, don't yeah, you? Yeah, don't do that because then it'll be everywhere. Don't spare it on me, okay, spare okay. it away from me. So, Okay, that's, no, just do one. Okay, I love okay. that. So yeah, this I know this classic, one. It's a classic, isn't it? Classic Sauvage. So this is what you smell when you go into every office yeah, in London. Office. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit aromatic, it's quite fresh, but it has quite a masculine feeling, masculine yeah. dry down, it's classy, it's nice. Most men's fragrances are eau de toilettes, mm. though for some reason they tend to last and perform like a female eau de parfum. Um, a fragrance that says aftershave on it means that it doesn't have a spray, it's just an oh. open lid and you're, it's very even less concentrated and you're supposed to just dab it and then put it on after oh. you shave. I didn't know that. Um, and they're less and less popular now, most brands don't even make them. Oh. They make eau de toilettes and then different spray versions. So when you say aftershave, it's actually referring to that particular thing. Yeah, ah, okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah, oh, so. Cool. Mm. Yeah, so we've got the Elixir and Should the Parfum version. Which one shall I do next? It's up to you. I want to do the Elixir last because I like the word Elixir. Okay. And Parfum. So this Not is the so Parfum, so it's a little bit more expensive than the Eau de Toilette. The branding has this like uh, more orangey background to it. And how does it compare? Does it smell? So it's not massively different. I can't tell. The I'd difference. say it's probably just more this concentrated. Is no, this is stronger. Mm. Oh, I didn't spray as much. I, I think this one twice. has a little bit more lemoniness in it, mm. a little bit more freshness. Yeah. But overall, it's very the same scent. Maybe if someone has the eau de toilette, you could get the eau de parfum for Christmas as mixing it up. Mm. But then, what's the difference in price? Um, it's probably about ten pounds more. What the uh, the parfum? Yeah. Yeah. I'd stick with the original for 10 yeah. pounds. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll try the elixir. So now we have the elixir. Mm. So I need to find somewhere else to spray this. So mm. I'm going to do like my elbow area, if that's all right. Ooh, I like that. Right. So it's got it's got it's got an edge to this one. I can see yeah. it's similar, but it's different. It's yeah. like a more sort of It's much heavier, more aromatic, yeah. a little bit smoky and yeah, leathery. Smoky. Yeah, yeah, smoky. I yeah. personally prefer that to the others. It's Ooh. not as fresh. Ooh. I think it's more sophisticated. Here, here's here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, this one for the day yeah. when you're going into the office and this one if you want to keep Date that night, smell going evening. through after the office, but mm. you want to give it a little bit of I don't know what, or as they say in France, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, I like it. The elixir is much more concentrated, so it comes in oh, a smaller nice. bottle, it's got a bit of... and it's like a thick, dark blue bottle, and it's I think it's their newest mm. release. I want to go out. So personally, I'm I, ready to go I out like party. Let's go and party. Well, there you go. It's a great sort of going out Christmas party fragrance. So I really mm. like the elixir, mm. um, and I think because like every man seems to have Sauvage original. This is a good flip. It's a little flex. bit different. Yeah. Yeah, flex it yeah. up. So that's that's our favourite, isn't it? Elixir. Mm. Yeah, I've never Sauvage. tried this before. Well, that's why you're here. Wow. So I thought it'd be good for you to also try some of the others from Dior that yes. aren't as like heavily advertised. So Dior have their mm. Dior Homme and Dior Homme Sport, which I have in two samples here. Oh, cool. Here. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to go ahead yeah. and try them? Yeah, yeah, looking forward to trying them. So perhaps if someone's tried all the Sauvages, mm. maybe, um, and you know they like Dior, then maybe you could go with the Dior Homme just to mix it up a little bit. Or perhaps one, you know, perhaps you've got two boys to buy for, like brothers, one more Sauvage, you want to get something different. I don't mind this as well, I quite like That's it. Mm. Yeah, so Dior Homme original is much more classic. Mm. Um, it's been around for a longer, That's it has a more sort of woody sandalwood vibe to it. Traditional. Yeah, traditional, classic gentleman. Yeah. And then how's it compared to the sport? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Does it smell? Mm. Mm. So the sport is quite different. It's quite spicy, aromatic. Isn't it? Quite um, different. Yeah, it's usually sport fragrances tend to have a lot of lemon in, very fresh. Mm. I'd mm. say that's very aromatic rather yeah. than lemony. Yeah. And a bit spicy. Mm. So they are definitely different to the yeah. Sauvages. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd probably get the, the original. The original. The Dior I would feel like it's something I could easily migrate to mm. as I get older. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Aww. 
I know. Yeah, it's very classic. Yeah, it's a bit more Perhaps classic. if you're looking for a present for, you know, a, a father, an uncle, a granddad, yeah. you know, your classic Dior yeah. home might be a safer buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Johnny Depp is advertising Sauvage is a bit more edgy, whereas mm. perhaps you want to go with someone who's more of like a classic gentleman type vibe. Mm. I'd mm. go with Dior mm. Homme. Mm. Dior Homme Sport, I'm not too sure about. Personally, I prefer Chanel Allure Homme Sport, which I actually don't have a sample of. Yeah. Um, and they're about the same price. I could replace this. I could replace the Paul Smith with this for my post gym. Yeah, favorites. but it's like twice, three times the price. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think it's worth the price. Well, well depends. It's, if it's, you like it, it's quite. A, it's classic but sporty. So if you like that, yeah, it's aromatic. That well. So that's Dior, the House of Dior and the ones that I have. Um, the other sort of big popular bestseller at Christmas. House of Gucci. And no, and oh. one that I used to recommend a lot when I was in um, selling perfumes is the Hugo Boss range. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they're really, really good value. Yeah. They do really nice gift sets. Yeah. And you can buy like 100 mil for like, I don't know, 40 something pounds. And it's great value for money. But mm. Boss is quite a high end, like cool brand. I've seen it advertised lots with the World Cup on at the mm. moment. The Boss in Motion ads. Yeah, and the Boss Orange ones. Yeah, I used generation. to have that. I used to have so that. I think it's it's their prices are actually. I think they could easily increase their prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the original Boss bottled. I have it here in a little mm. vial. Mm. Um, this is very light, fresh, sporty. Remember yeah. what this smells like. Yeah. Again, I'd say this is more for a younger person or someone who's very sporty wants something very fresh. Um, it's a scent that you will recognise that you will have smelt loads all around the world. It's been out for a long it's time. One, it? um, it's popular, it comes in that transparent bottle. Oh yeah. And then it also comes in an Eau de Parfum version, which is in a silver bottle, if you want to mm. compare that. For me, this is a go-to work one. It's another one of my work ones. I'd either go Sauvage or yeah. for work. Yeah, you smell this a lot in the office. Wouldn't be going out. Classic, no, yeah, daytime, definitely. Oh yeah, it's, it's it's that's like a bit like spicier than the last one. Mm, Maybe yeah. spicy isn't the right word. It has the same DNA, but yeah. it's just got a little bit more body. It's a bit stronger. I personally mm. prefer it, but it still has yeah. that same DNA as the original. Actually, again, it could be like one for work, and then this one could be off just after work. Yeah, I don't think it's really evening. Oh, okay. um, they have a new one out this year, which is called Boss Bottled. Parfum, and I have mm. a brand new one here as a little present for you yes! during this video. Love a present. Mm. So, do you want to open it up and see how it smells? Okay, so you've opened it up. Yeah, I have. You've also adopted a little Christmas friend there. He's been here all this time. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of this one in comparison? Uh, so, it comes in this darker bottle, oh, not to be confused with um, Boss Night, which comes in a dark blue. This yeah. is a dark black. Mm. Um, not that there's a light black. Mmm. It's much, it's quite, it's different, it's leathery. I think, yeah. Um, I it's like dark, it, dark definitely. Yeah. I think it's definitely not just an evening scent though. You could wear that during the day, no problem. Mm. I think it's much better. That's classier. more for the evening. I don't you? think it's just an evening scent. I think you could wear it during the day as yeah, well. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's just not got that fresh, sporty vibe. I'd probably it. wear it if, um, say I had Boss in the morning, the mm. classic one. Mm at work, then I went to the gym, but knew I was going to be going out after work. Yeah. I'd have this, so you've got that continuation. Yeah. Or if you want something that's a bit more serious for work, mm. I think you could wear that. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, big presentation. Yeah. Okay, so that's the cool. boss ones. So I've got some other um, best sellers here for you. Um, so Versace Eros is, mm. is a fragrance that um, I've been seeing advertised mm. quite a lot at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually yeah. been out for a really long time. Has it? Oh, um, and it has, it yeah, but I, I've noticed they've really been pushing yeah. the advertising. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it comes, go on ahead. Yeah, I've been quite looking forward to trying this because mm. I've been seeing it so much. I'm very curious. You've been targeted yeah. with it then. Very curious. Okay, that's very different to the sort of scent I would normally get mm. for myself, isn't it? So it's a little bit sweet. I don't know if it has a bit of vanilla in. It's a slightly sweet yeah. scent. <clears throat> it's more towards <clears throat> the Paco Rabanne million yeah. vibe. You're this not isn't, a fan? This isn't something I would get for mm. me personally. Um, yeah. and I, to be honest, I, I don't. I like Versace, but Versace is not one of the brands that I resonate yeah. with. Like I'm more of like a boss. You are. Paul Smith. Yeah, you more know. of a more sort of 
Germanic, English, serious type brand. The Versace brand is a bit more like, it's quite playful, fun. It's their more fragrance it's quite Italian, is. isn't it? It's strange, isn't it? it My is, Mediterranean side lingy. should be appealed to that. Yeah. So this is Eros Eau de Parfum. I think that's it's quite nice. It's just so. for someone that not... likes something a little bit more sweet, a bit more mm. vanilla, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad, but not one I would get for myself. Certainly wouldn't wear that in the office for me. So next we have Burberry Hero. Now this <clears throat> oh, just um, cool. came out mm. this year and I think it's been, or maybe last year? Mm. Yeah, last year. Mm. And it's been pretty popular. I think this yeah. is going to be a bestseller. Looking um, forward to trying this as well. Time. Yeah, cool. That's very interesting. I see quite a lot of similarity to Boss. Mm. Is that just me? Yeah, it's it's a bit like, um, it's got a woodiness. It's quite it's a sandalwood that. Um, it reminds me a bit of Dior Homme. And there's a bit of the Paul Smith in there as well. Maybe, yeah. I think that's very nice. It's one of those scents that I can't imagine anyone would dislike. Yeah, I like that. I like the sandalwood in mm. there. Mm, I like that a lot. That's one of my favorites now. Definitely, mm. I'll have to get you one of them. Um, this would be a good, this is a good solid option, I think, for I think you could get that for, Yeah, and you could also get that for any age group, mm. and I think it would be fine. It's just a classic warm sandalwood. I yeah. think it comes in an Eau de Parfum version as well, which I haven't tried, so. And you said this is new? Yeah, it's quite new, and it's, again, it's quite heavily appetized. So I think, um, just my, mm. my guess is I think they've targeted, you know, some of the best sellers already. Mm. Like, there's a bit of Boss in here, There's a, I think there's a bit of Paul Smith in here. Well, there isn't really one that's very sandalwoody, um, so I think angle. they've gone that way. And it's mm. also brown packaging, so reminiscence of that woody vibe. So I like that. For that's Burberry, it's good. It's a good move. A recommendation, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, wouldn't be un I wouldn't be unhappy with that. That's quite nice. So next we have Yves Saint Laurent. So they have their Le Homme. <laughs> Um, I think the last year was it? I can't remember. I had a sample of their Y fragrance. Um, oh, I know, we had it, oh, it we smashed it. But uh, it was really, really nice. Yeah. So we, we definitely like the YSL Y that comes mm. in blue. Mm. I think that's a little bit old fashioned, yeah. to be honest. Not one I would get for myself. No, that's more classic gentleman vibe. That's the in the same camp, but it's perhaps Dior even, Homme. Yeah, it's in the Dior Homme area, but perhaps even more a bit. Yeah, maybe. And I think um, whereas their YSL Y range is more like in the Sauvage type yeah. category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we did really like that. Um, it's good. Yeah, we'll have to get you that at some point because it was really nice when we smashed it. Mm -hmm. And then Valentino. Mm. Um, so this is one of their newer ones. So I'm forward to try this as well. If you'll probably be familiar with the women's Valentino board in Roma. Um, they also have a men's version called Valentino Romo. Um, and this is the born in Roma version of that. Oh, wow. That's quite fruity in my mm. opinion. Isn't that fruity? Mm. Gosh. Yeah, I quite like that. Do, do you? I don't think that's as masculine as I yeah. like, personally. So I, I like quite fruity masculine scents. I don't know if you guys remember Black Excess from Paco Rabanne for men, um, which was quite fruity and leathery, but I, you don't, because I got you to try that, you didn't like it. This is of a similar vein, I think. It comes in a black bottle as well. I mean, it depends on the, it de depends on the type of person you're buying yeah. for. So you've got a sense of the types of fragrances I like. Like it's still masculine, right? It's yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. feminine, but it does have this sort of berry type undertone. Yeah. Um, so I like that. Well, like, the thing is though, maybe... Mm -hmm. It's got a bit spicy now, maybe oh, okay. some cardamom in there. Yeah, um, for me it's a bit too fruity. It's a little bit more like the Versace, which is yeah. interesting because it's Italian as well, yeah. right? Yeah, It's a little bit more like unusual vibes going but, on. But I, but I would like to say as well, if you're in a sort of Mediterranean sort of hotter climate or just hotter climate yeah. generally, I think in the summer you probably want to have something a bit fruitier Fruity and like these and I could, see, I could yeah. see you know hot summer's day mm. you know mm. you're out going to a barbecue or a picnic or whatever mm. then yeah I could see I could potentially wear it but I'm thinking a lot now because it's winter I'm thinking like office or mm. going out after mm. the office and mm. that sort of thing so mm. this, this doesn't suit my personality for that yeah no it doesn't but right. summer and then this is a Calvin Klein, um, one of their latest mm. releases called Defy. Cool. Um, these are a little bit more affordable than yeah. some of the others, yeah, though I yeah. still class it as designer. So I'm running out of places to spray, yeah. I'm afraid. Uh, and of course, you've got Calvin Klein, um, CK1, CKB, CK Everyone, which are quite... Um, oh, this is very Calvin Klein. Sorry to interrupt you. And lights and very unisex. Mm. 
is exactly that's quite what I sporty yeah. light i think the advert is someone like rock climbing yeah it definitely feels like that like somewhat mm. very outdoorsy this would be a good post-workout fragrance yeah. for me yeah weekend just go and play football yeah, yeah, yeah out and about yeah okay so now i have four which are kind of in the category of ones that are a bit a little bit extra that have like quite unique bottles and branding so the first one is um the new version of carolina herrera's bad boy oh, bad boy le parfum ah so we could have bad girl and bad boy well, there's good girl the one with the shoe you know ah. the one shaped like the shoe so the, the matching fragrance for that for good girl is bad boy so this one's been out for a couple of years it's the one that comes in the lightning bolt shaped bottle um and this is the latest version which is a parfum version oh that smells much more different than i was expecting oh it smells weird is that yeah right? that again that's a little bit fruity as well that's not what I would have expected from Le Parfum, which usually has more heavy notes okay. in. Mmm. Mmm. It's a bit, like no, it's not you. It's again, it's more like the Valentino one. I'm not a bad boy. One. I'm not a bad boy. That's why. So next we have Invictus from Paco Rabanne. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that has this like Greek Olympian theme. Oh. It's like, like a trophy. Ooh, like an emperor. Exactly. Oh, I, could, like I, that. I like the idea. Perfectly. Of it. You know, designed for the male. Oh yeah, and there's a bit of ego in there, isn't there? Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Boss Bottle. That yeah, one. That's a, it's got the Boss. Um, there, there's a lot of similarities to Boss to some of these, isn't there? Yeah, it's got that freshness, that aquaticness, yeah. the lemon. It's not bad. Every day. That's just the original eau de toilette. Um, and again, that comes in a really over the top bottle. Mm. Um, and then another one is Dolce & Gabbana, their K fragrance. This mm. one comes with a crown lid. Um, and sort of blue bottle and this is the latest version of it which is called um, Le Parfum, it's a bit more concentrated. I would say the original bottle from what I can see is not really my style, no. the crown on top, it's a bit... None of these I would say are, are you, yeah. I don't really like the, sm the initial smell I get from it, it's not for me. Mm. It's a little bit boozy. Yeah. Mm. I don't like that either, it's a bit boozy and green. I'm not mad for that one. Um, but it's a, so I think it's they're, they're sort of going out and being a bit sort of different and flamboyant. Yeah, it's someone it's more flamboyant, sort of, yeah. for sure. That kind of bottle as yeah, well. Yeah, not, not for me. And then what we have here is um, Spice Bomb Infrared. So Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf has its male version Spice Bomb. And this is um, one of the newer versions of mm -hmm. Spice Bomb called Infrared. Okay. And the tried. bottle is like a grenade type ah, thing. Ah, sounds quite cool. Yeah, I've not tried this one before. Well, not tried a lot of these before. Oh wow, that's very, to me that's very spicy. Very spicy, isn't it? And I think it's got Gosh. a bit of a red pepper, like a proper actual Ooh. chili pepper. Gosh, like a red chili pepper in there. But I think with this, you could really make an impact. Oh yeah, if you I wore this on a night out, you would get it'd be like a yes. Oh, what's that? That's, like for me to wear something like this on a night out, you would be like, what's going on here? No, what's going on here? <laughs> I think it's kind of like Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb is similar for women. Ah, oh, okay. Um, I think all the Spice Bomb ones, you know, the name really does say it. They are like a bomb. They're strong. Mm. They're interesting. That's nice. Mm. I think it's got a red chili pepper in there. For one that makes I us, like it. For what, if you wanted to mix something up yeah. on a night out, you know, for yeah. me, like make an impression. Yeah. I would suggest some not of my friends. Not during the day, I'd not office. Some, oh, no, no, office. You'd but like, date night, Christmas party, yeah, that type yeah, of vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice, interesting. And both Spice Bomb and Flower Bomb are really good for lasting and projection. Yeah. They're good quality perfume. So mm. I think that one is Soaky and Stephen approved. Yeah, I think that's like a showstopper type one, mm. isn't it, for a night out? If it's if it's an unusual scent for you mm. as a guy, you can it's make a, you can make some impressions on it. Different to else. Like a Christmas party, whack that on if you're normally like a boss guy or a you know. Guy. Guy. Yeah. So now um, to finish off, we have some niche fragrances. So we just bought a candle, didn't we? Actually, yeah. so um, the Maison Margiela replica range. I was telling Stephen about one of their fragrances called Jazz Club, um, which aims to replicate the scent of being in sort of an underground New York jazz club, mm. leather, smoke, you know, whiskey, smoking rug. jacket, pipe that type of vibe and a really deep mahogany wood yeah. as well mm. and you smelt it didn't you when yeah. you were in a department store and you yeah. loved it yeah um but really. rather than get the 
the spray because you already have so many mm. we got the candle instead and mm. you've been really enjoying it haven't you? yeah yeah because it's christmas we've got the christmas mm. tree the sm lo lovely fresh smell of the tree mm. and it's sort of like there's a lot of warm, open fires that's where we've been going and then and yeah then this as well it's lovely yeah. really nice really masculine so the, this, the eau de toilette version of that i think is really nice something mm. different if you're looking for something that perhaps people haven't heard of something special and very seasonal the right. jazz club one and then even more seasonal is their by the fireplace yes um which i do actually have somewhere this and that has a sort of chestnut yes yeah. um you know wooden fire log fire mm. vibe to lovely it lovely for christmas put that on in the background before the family arrives super christmasy yeah and yeah. it comes in a spray as well an eau de toilette mm, mm, mm. um so this cool. definitely a lovely lovely gift and then um, I have a couple of others here for you to try. So mm. this is from Penhaligons, mm -hmm. um, sort of classic British brand, a little bit more expensive yeah. in niche. And this is called their Helvetti Leather. And um, this is one of the strongest leather perfumes out Gosh, there. Gosh, <laughs> yeah, strong leather. Wow. Mm. So this is like Whoa. a whole different level to all these ones we've, we've tried before. That's very Heavy, unique. deep really intense leather right wow yeah 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 <laughs> that's like uh, for me that's um pimlico <laughs> smoking jacket <laughs> private members club yeah kind of smell, it, isn't it smells expensive right and it is expensive gosh yeah but, but it's pen oh yeah, it's yeah so suited to the brand yeah yeah absolutely and halligans and yeah. these are like royal approved brand mm. and they have like this this this, seal of the monarchy or this is this is sort of a uh, scent I don't expect uh, King Charles to wear mm, Christmas mm. Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah, it's quite royal. And then I have two more from Penhaligon to try actually, Constantinople mm. and Babylon. Oh, great names. And these are from their Trade Roots yeah. um, series, which I think is quite colonial. Yeah, vibes. I was going to say. I'm not sure how politically correct it is, yeah. um, but it's, it's supposed to be inspired by the different scents of different things brought back from the New World, um, India. Seems a bit old fashioned Which to one's me. that? This is the Babylon. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit old-fashioned, a little bit powdery. Yeah, that's not you. It's no. classic, but it's a bit powdery there, a bit old. Mm. And then this is Constantinople, which of course is now Istanbul. Good knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they didn't change the name, it just changed how okay. people pronounce it. That's a bit different to Babylon. Okay, that's not. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's kind of like a fur and leather. Mmm, it's a bit fresher that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would say like the first one is the classic one, this one would be in the middle, and then Babylon would be a bit mm. like alternative of, the, of that group. I think the Halfetti leather is really nice. If you're yeah. a lover of leather fragrances, yeah, it's and good. these are all unisex really, um, so plenty of women love leather. Mm. So I do think it's one of the best leathers on the market, but you do pay for it. Yeah, yeah, you definitely get what you pay for with that. You can you can sense it. Can't yes, you? yeah, especially the men's. And then finally, I've got some Aqua de Palma ones here. Oh, Aqua de Palma. I'm looking I've forward to trying these. Quercia and okay. Oud. And Aqua de Palma is an Italian brand. Yes, see. And I love the Blue Mediterranean range for summer, but these are from their Signatures of the Sun range, which I actually have a whole article on. Okay. Um, so Quercia is sort of more of their classic type scent. Okay, so you need to get it right in there. Hmm. So it's very fresh, yeah, very fresh. lemony, There's a lot of lemon yuzu, and citrus. very citrusy, mm. which is the classic Aqua de Palma yeah. scent. Mm. Um, so it's probably more daytime, more spring, mm. summer, hot weather type mm. vibes. Yeah, um, it's citrusy but quite classy. It's not definitely classy. Not that I'm saying citrus isn't classy, but I mean it's got it's citrus like and work. Bottle. I can see, but this could work. Yes, you could wear Do that you know to the mean? office yeah, yeah. exactly. And then I've got their oud. Um, so this is the only oud one that you've tried. Mm. Uh, maybe you want to spray that on a card, actually. Okay. Yeah. Wait till you see the card. Whoa! <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Wow, I want to see the rest of it, but I don't want to spray too yeah. much. Oh, wow, yeah, that's very different to anything yeah. else we've tried today. So it's more of a sort of... Oh, it's quite nice. Arabic. Yeah. Oud is from, like... Um, Agikal wood, it's um, something that comes out of a tree. I think it's actually when a tree's infected, it produces this. Oh, poor tree. But this oud is not as intense no. as a lot of ouds out there. It's quite subtle. 
but it's still much different. It's more subtle and it's got some greenness and freshness mm. to it. Mm. It's not a sickly, intense mm. oud. Like it takes the citrus away and replaces it with. Mm. Like, you know, I think it's oud. a much more wearable oud than most ouds out there, mm. which can, for me, I just find it overwhelming. Yeah, it's not too overwhelming, but still different, distinctive. Nice. So that's it. That's our um, run through of men's fragrances there. I'm sure there's something in there for everyone. I think, you know, our favourites, we love the Sauvage Elixir. Yeah, Elixir, was good. Let's, let's grab them um, and go through them. So the Sauvage Elixir. Yeah. But for something different, I thought that one. Something different, the Spice Bomb Infrared. And then the leather. Sauvage uh, Elixir, leather. Aqua Di Gio Perfumo, the leather one, Pelfati leather from Pinahaligans was very different. I think this um, one's a good all-rounder. The Bulgari Aqua from Men, and I Hero. think the Burberry Hero is probably a really safe buy, as is Luna Rosa from Prada, if you don't know the person that well. Um, so yeah, plenty to go out there. Um, did you enjoy that? Oh, it's fantastic. Good. Yeah, I feel like I've just tried Smells like several years, maybe decades worth of fragrance. Mm, fragrance gem. Because I, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm quite a traditional sort of guy when it comes to fragrances. When I speak to my friends, I'm sort of like middle of the road. Well, before we met, obviously mm. now I'm, I'm experimenting a lot mm. more. But like, mate, I think a lot of guys will have our like four or five fragrances. And not venture. And very yeah. occasionally we'll go, we'll venture a little bit further out. And that's why I think buying a present if you know someone quite well, even if you don't know them that well, but you can, you can get them something that ex that stretches the boundaries. Something a little bit different. And then something and they're like, most, oh, yeah, that they, yeah. And they wouldn't go into a department store and spend time. To yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, I mean, yeah so, definitely not. So I've just I've gone through the whole gamut of everything. I thought, hmm, I could experiment with that, and oh, yeah, I could experiment I think with plenty that. Plenty of ideas there. So ideas for everyone. Um, right? Let us know in the comments if you buy any of these, which is your favourite to get as a gift, or if you're a man, which one do you wear? And as always, guys, I'll put in the description box a link to where you can buy all of these all around the world. Um, but that's it. So thank you so much, Stephen, for yeah, appearing in the video. Mm. Let us know if you want to see more of his beautiful face. And um, that's it. Happy Christmas present shopping. And I will see you in the next video. Good luck. Bye. Is it recording? Video. Ah, so if I say anything like naughty or rude or anything, it'll, it could get cut. Am I supposed to spare on skin? Just you're doing it on your elbow. That's not skin, that's, that's wool. I mean, it's a, it might be classed as skin yeah. if I was a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Why did I spray it on the sheet? No! Come on, spray <laughs> This is what she has to live with, day in, day out. I'm just uh, a nightmare, really. Well, I'm not a nightmare, I'm like a dream. That's become a nightmare. No, no, no! That's <laughs> horrible! I'm Jake. I'm like a very, it's like that Slumberland movie, film. That's Distractions. Even Distractions. Have you heard about Slumberland? Slumberland looks oh. amazing. We haven't seen it yet. We need Please. to watch it. Sorry. How many more do we have to do? Them. All of them. Well, that's fine. That'll only take a couple of hours. I hope you don't watch this for a couple of hours. Jeez. It's not the Joe Rogan podcast. I think I might have ruined this video now. <laughs> oh. You're not going to show this, are you? Oh. Oh. Lightning bolt shaped. Don't get it on him.